I just made a three minute video of my elderberries and I realized I could have made the video slightly longer and showed you my pawpaws as well. Um, right here, I'll show you the uh, game cam. We have uh, probably about 10 different game cams all around the property. Um, we see a lot of deer and we see my son, we see our neighbor, and that's about it. We have, we see ourselves also. We have never seen a person on any video that wasn't supposed to be there. So that's kind of a relief. I think one time we saw a bear, we see mostly deer. So these are my pawpaw trees and the, they are a lot larger than the ones that I planted at the same time at the other place. I'm thinking because when they're young, they love the shade, they love constant moisture. So this area wa has sort of a, a natural spring in it. It's got shade from a dead tree and a couple of uh, trees that were taken out. I'm not sure if we're taking out that walnut there, but I'm pretty sure we're taking out this apple. I know we're taking out that dead whatever that is, and I want to take out that maple. Uh, this is a pretty nice, big, straight walnut, so I think we may end up just leaving the two walnuts. Uh, a lot of things don't like to grow near walnuts, but pawpaw likes to grow near walnuts. So, uh, this is uh, the grass clampings that they dumped here to keep in some moisture. I need to do some weeding. This is just, I think they call this goat fence. I'm not sure, but this is a four by two uh, grid in there. Uh, I think it's five feet. Uh, actually, no, it's probably only four feet. I think I have five feet at home. But then what I did, uh, I cut it six feet long which makes a two foot circle left a little tab of the wire so that we could bend it over to make the circle and then i took these are actually old uh, aluminum arrows that we cut too short or didn't need anymore or were bent and then i just like weave it through there uh, to hold it steady on some of them i would have uh, landscape clips on the bottom and this one is just like a, an old garden marker that's been woven through there. So you don't have to go out and buy anything. I think I'm gonna have a heck of a time getting um, this off of here without breaking this stem to take the fence off, but uh, I'd rather trim a branch uh, or cut the wire than take it off too soon and have the deer decimate the pawpaw trees and one thing I really didn't account for when I was doing my pawpaws I have to move one of them at home because they get quite large and they can get up to 35 feet tall but I I was so desperate to get them growing I planted them overly close because I assumed I would uh, lose some I only planted four here and this is the smallest one, and but all four have really taken off. So uh, we should get some pawpaws soon, I think, if not next year, then the year after that. And this whole little area can be my little pawpaw patch. And then over the heel there, we have uh, a crick. And so I'm actually going to take some uh, pawpaws down there and plant them near the crick. I'm going to naturalize them in the acreage. Uh, we don't have a lot of acreage, uh, but our friend, our neighbor, has uh, quite a bit, and he said that we could go ahead and put some down along his creek as well. So, that's it. Uh, so, that's it for today. I don't know if I'll put both of these videos up in one day. Maybe I'll save one because I've been so, like, backlogged in posting videos but that's it that's my little tiny pawpaw patch and uh, it grew well despite me thinking that it wouldn't okay so tell me how your pawpaws are doing
a lot of people don't even know what a pawpaw is so just in case you don't um, you don't see them in the stores because they only last like maybe two or three days once they're ripe you can save the pulp and freeze it and uh, it's I think they're a lot of a couple of universities and some people are doing studies on the pawpaw and trying to cross breed them to uh, different types there are already a few different types out there but they're trying to get them more shelf stable that's why you don't see them in the store because they are not shelf stable whatsoever but oh my goodness are they amazing and if you are on the east coast or near west virginia or ohio you can check into the pawpaw festival and um, i think it's coming up soon i think it's in september i'm not real sure but uh yeah that and the mother earth festival is coming to seven springs in september and i will be there so all right there we go that's it for the video and the tiny little pawpaw patch have an amazing day.